And here we have the one and only David Schmidt, CEO, founder, and inventor of LifeWave. We are so excited to have you here at our best year ever event here. I'm telling you, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you had a great time with your family. Steve and I had a great time with our kids at our house in West Palm. We are so excited to have you here to ask you a few questions and just kind of go back and forth, have a little fun. And yeah. Steve, you want to say hi? We are just blessed to have you here. We're just grateful for all the things that you've been doing for uh, everybody in LifeWave and positioning them to win. And that's why we wanted to get everybody out of the blocks early in 2024. Not a better person to get on here and tell everyone what's about to happen in 2024 and maybe a little recap of 2023. But we're so grateful that you decided to come and share with everybody and, and let them know how much you care about them and how exciting 2024, our 20th anniversary year is going to be. Oh. Well, first, uh, thank you to both of you for inviting me and for having me here. Believe me, it's my pleasure. And uh, I think I would just want to start by saying thank you for an amazing 2023. Biggest year in the history of LifeWave, uh, U.S. number one market in the world, fastest growth market yeah. in the world, and uh, your team number one in the world. Wow. So many, many congratulations. And uh, do a high five on that. Yeah, yeah high five. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah so, go. so thank you for yeah, every yeah. for the two of you and that everybody on your team that that's driving all that. It's been amazing. Yeah. So thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So, 2024 guys, it's gonna be big. The 20th anniversary is coming up. We are yeah. super excited about that, and we hope you're gonna be there. You better mark your calendar. So, David, Steve, and I, um, we pray for one year for the right product, the right company, the right ownership, because you can have the right product but have the wrong ownership. And we are so blessed and um, excited to be here. I know that our last thing we prayed for was God's favor. We are Christians, we're believers, and we just really wanted um, our product that we were gonna run with. I don't wanna say our last, <laughs> our last <laughs> run, yeah. but because um, it makes you sound so old. <laughs> but um, I I'm telling you, we are had, the God's favor is all over the product, the company, the business, and we are so excited about what's happening, what's going on, the testimonies, um, the business that people are developing, yeah. their um, their financial uh, is doing a shift, which is great, because that's our goal yeah. for 2024. For our team, is called This Is It, and our goal is to get people out of debt and to have a better health, better finances, get your Get your literally get your act together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so we're so excited about where it's going and what's happening. Okay. In 2024, we are just really looking forward to setting everybody up uh, right out of the gate so they can win in a big way. Uh, and we're so excited to have you share with uh, with the folks here. But let's go back to 2023 because it was such a momentous type of year. I mean, like you said, uh, records were broken almost mm -hmm. every month. Yeah. Can you give us a few highlights, some things that you really you really captured of what you've seen? I mean, you've been doing this for 19 years. It's the 20th anniversary. Yeah. Out of all the years you've been doing it, had to be some really charged up type uh, feeling you had in the 2023. Uh, well, you know, the, <laughs> so. There were highlights uh, first, I'd say, throughout the year in yeah. you know so many so many great ways. Uh, first, uh, I'd say I'm so very appreciative to all the new leaders that came in to build, to see the rank advancements, to see um, all of the excitement and enthusiasm that we had on incentive trips. Uh, Sardinia was certainly um, was certainly incredible because we created the new elite level SPD status. Uh, which is only 24 people last year from from around the world, and uh, so uh, we got to create that new uh, that new level along with the uh, bonuses that come along with that, the financial bonuses and the incentive trip, and um, so that I think was a really big highlight uh, that we had uh, 3,000 people over at convention in Orlando um, that we broke. Uh, over 40 million in sales for the month of November. That was uh, really incredible. We were actually it was over 45 million in sales for the, for the month of November. So that was pretty extraordinary. But you know, at the end of the day, um, it's always going to be about the testimonials. Uh, I met some extraordinary people last year. Uh, we had a woman, a very famous singer, 
in Asia come in and uh, sing at an event in Taiwan. And uh, she uh, performs for presidents of countries and she gets paid a lot of money. And she came in and did everything gratis. Uh, and she said to me, you know, I was suffering with cancer. We don't make any medical claims. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she said, I was suffering with cancer. I used X39 and I'm cancer free today. So I wanted to do this as a way to say thank you. So that, that um, really, I think for me, summarizes the highlights during the year is all of the testimonials that we got on life-changing, life-changing results with the products. That's always gonna be first. You know, I really love your passion for people and that's the, the, the root of having success in LifeWave is because people are winning with their health, People are winning with their finances. They're winning spiritually. Just the community of everyone encouraging people to have something that they can look forward to. I love the message of hope. And I really want, maybe you can set out the stage looking forward down into 2024 if we got enough patches that are going to be coming out uh, so that our team can, be, can, be, can <laughs> yeah. feel confident that they got plenty of uh, product. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I spend probably more engineering time in the company than our brand partners realize. And uh, one of the privileges uh, that I have is I, I get to work with some really great people like Coleman and uh, the engineers at the company that we work with to uh, manufacture the equipment uh, that makes our product. And um, we started with making the patches one at a time. Uh, that was in my lab, the, that, that was quite tedious to going to a semi-automated oh, process, to an automated process, to now we have a complete uh, robotics AI-driven system. So th some numbers that are pretty significant is that uh, when I started, I was making one patch at a time. And today, uh, we're making more than 20 million patches every month. Wow. So that's a huge number of people that we're helping each and every month. Uh, but the, the important thing is that today uh, we can support a company doing more than $1.2 billion a year. And uh, by the end of this year, with another upgrade on our facilities, that's going to go to over $1.8 billion in sales, approaching $2 billion in sales. So we have a very, very good uh, plan in place for continued expansion of manufacturing. So. Go and sell, we'll that's, be able to yeah, keep up with you. That's what we want to hear, and yep. I will say that from the time we started with all this uh, crazy record-breaking uh, years yeah. in 2023, we haven't had one hiccup on the logistics of getting X39 to everybody, and that's a uh, uh, big uh, hats off to you for doing that for us, because you really have position. If, if we don't have product, how are we going to promote? Yeah, and it gives, you know, it gives the field confidence, so I just want to really let, commend you for what you've done, and it's not easy to, to produce that much Oh, it's, much it's, a team, it's a team effort, and... Uh, I would say out of the many different areas of the company, uh, the manufacturing is absolutely rock solid. We have great people in supply chain order fulfillment. Uh, we have a fantastic fellow that's running our order fulfillment in San Diego. And uh, I mean, we're shipping as many as seven to 8,000 orders a day. Uh, so it's gotten very sophisticated and uh, extremely reliable. So uh, we, we just don't have any problems in those areas. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you said you got plenty of patches. <laughs> so this is your team. Step it up. Yeah. We encourage you. They got enough patches. We can do this. <laughs> yes. So David, um, this is a team is so excited about the 20th anniversary and making 2024 like just incredible. We've got the 20th anniversary coming up. And for everyone that's attending here, our virtual online best year ever event. Can you kind of like give us a little um, secrets, maybe some little uh, pique our interest, what's going to happen? Because we want everyone to be a part of it. You know, leaders around the world have two things in common. Actually, they have more than two things in common. <laughs> First, they're all really great people. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they have patience, persistence. They never give up. Mm. And uh, they also, when I sit with them, they also always want to know uh, what secrets you know, are coming. So that's, that's good that you guys all have that in common. Well, um, next week is going to be our online vision conference. And I actually am going to be telling a story about some secrets. So I'll give your team 
a preview of this. So I hope okay. everybody joins me for Vision next yes, week. Yes, yes. Um, but in October, um, at the leader event and then also at convention, I unveiled this brandy product that I invented. And uh, of course, this is a new method for processing alcohol with light. So the alcohol is infused with light. And I never thought I'd buy a round of brandy for 3,000 people before. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. And uh, we got phenomenal feedback. Yes, it was tasty. Yeah. It was, wasn't yes, it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I was actually teasing a product launch and foreshadowing a product launch, but uh, our community just didn't know it. Uh, we're not going to market and sell brandy, uh, but we do have technology to infuse things that you consume with light. So think about this just for a second. Our products work by stimulating the skin with light and they produce these phenomenal effects. But what if you could get the light to go inside your body? What kind of health benefits would that wow. be? Yeah. So, uh, th so that brandy was just a way to celebrate uh, 20 years, but it was also a way to celebrate the entry of a new technology wow. yeah. into our company that works yes. with light. So, for, so during the year, You'll hear more about it. Yes. And of course, you know, no surprise, we're going to have a major, major product launch this year. Okay, don't share the secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and get on the virtual event That's next week, right? right? The corporate right. team yep. is going to be amazing. That. More on that next week. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You mentioned to us that we got some exciting news uh, recently mm -hmm. uh, regarding being able to speak more about GHK, the copper peptide, yeah. uh, and the uh, and stem cell activation with the X39, the way it st states in our patent. Can you elaborate on that? Let us know some exciting news that we're going to be able to have. That's good. To me, that's going to be very exciting news for 2024. Yes. yes, absolutely. I'd love to talk about it. So the first thing is, I would say um, altruistically, the FDA is supposed to act in our best interest, right? There's supposed to be an agency that um, protects people from consumer fraud on health products mm -hmm. and other things. And, um, but unfortunately, you know, what we see is the FDA not really acting in consumers' best interest. So FDA has a mandate now where they wanna start taking natural compounds off the market and regulate them as drugs. So uh, hopefully this, this won't pass, but mm -hmm. things like glutathione, lipoic acid, they wanna pull these supplements off the market because they know that, that these supplements treat things like diabetes and cancer, yeah. right? So, so that's what we're up against. Uh, so with X39, we're in the category of general wellness and FDA now wants to regulate stem cells as drugs. Uh, for injections, mm -hmm. totally understandable, yeah. but not for our patch, right? Because right? we're not putting anything in the body. And stem cells naturally occur in the body. So I started, when this all went down in August, I started to think about, you know, what would be a way that we could deal with this and, uh, and uh, still be legal in terms of our claims. So I started thinking about pairing a health supplement with the patches that where we could support the stem cell claims and support the copper peptide claims. Yes. So I went to our FDA attorney with this. Now he's been our attorney since 2005. He's a very, very well-known Washington DC attorney. And he also consults for uh, other companies in our industry. Yeah. And I said, this is what I have in mind. And he came back and said, those will be totally legal claims. So we've put together a supplement that contains things like glycine, lysine, uh, copper, beta alanine, and it's matched to specific patches. So for example, you use any of the patches that you would use during the day, and this formula supports the activity of those patches. So I talk about this all the time on LifeWave yeah. Connect, yeah. and many leaders like yourselves yeah. would say, well, why don't we sell those supplements? Yeah. Well, now we will but it's all in one, we've done it all in one formula. Okay, So that is great. So we'll be able to co-market the supplement with X39, 
and we'll be able to make the claim that this supports levels of copper peptide in the body yeah. and it supports stem cell activity. Wow. And people get all these crazy good benefits. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. So Amazing. throughout this year, we're going to be implementing the supplement. Oh, uh, well, we're going to be putting all of that information on our website yeah. and saying coming soon. And that will allow us to start making the claims now. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, just within maybe about the next two months, it'll get released in the United States. Perfect. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. Come on. Yeah. Give me five on that one. Thank Fire you, David. Yeah. This is, yeah. And this is, by the way, this is not a pill. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, it's not a pill. It's not a pill. Like it's that. a powder. And uh, you mix it in with water. And um, it will have an immediate effect, but there's no stimulants in it. So think in terms of things that are infused with light. Woo! So we're, I'm we're, fired up, guys. Yeah. So we're definitely going to change the way people think about supplements. Yes. It's not going to be a Me Too product. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Fantastic. Yep. So we have a lot of highly educated doctors online today, a lot of brand new brand partners. Can you explain really how the technology of the X39 patch really works? Sure. We get so many questions yeah. and it's like, if I just had a simple um, verbiage back to them, it would yeah. really help a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this isn't going to be simple. Okay, I'll uh, so this would be, it'll be simple for doctors, right, okay, uh, good, good. but maybe not lay people. So essentially what happens is in our patches, they stimulate the skin with very low levels of light. This will in turn um, cause a, a uh, increase in the amount of something called cytochrome C oxidase. And this is found in uh, the mitochondria and it's found in uh, what's called the electron transport chain. So in order for the body to convert food over into energy, it's got to go through this um, very complicated uh, series of biochemical reactions that acts like what we call a bucket brigade of transferring one molecule to, right. th to another. So in uh, the final stages of the electron transport chain, uh, you have something called cytochrome C oxidase, and this is an energy carrier. So with light, the specific wavelengths of light, you can increase that and as a result, get a net increase in the amount of ATP that's produced in the cell. When we get an increase in ATP, now it's like getting an increase in cash in the bank. So Steve, I know one of the, we'll things, <laughs> one of the things you and I have in common uh, uh, with a lot of other guys is that we like sports cars yeah. and we like yeah. driving, you know, we like driving sports cars. Well, you gotta have some money yeah. to drive a sports yeah. car, yes. right? True. So so in the human body, you've got to have energy in order to make new muscle, repair damaged tissue, and so forth, and make hormones. And um, when we use the patch, the first thing that it's going to do is make the amount of energy available in the cell higher. From there, uh, the patch uses other wavelengths of light, a blend of wavelengths of light, to turn on gene expression where copper peptide, uh, the copper peptide gene gets expressed. And now we can uh, see through blood testing uh, that it does increase within 24 hours. Wow. wow. Yeah, so, that the, so the basic mechanism, stimulate the skin with light, increase energy, increase copper peptide. But talking about the GHK, yep. can you tell us a little bit, you know, seeing how, you know, we're discussing the GHK, the peptides, and the importance of it is in your body. Tell us a bit what to expect once your GHK levels in your body are elevated wearing the X39. Well, what does somebody expect when that happens? Yeah, so uh, copper peptide, well, there, there's two peptides. One is GHK and one is GHKCU. Okay. So uh, the first thing is both of these peptides will decrease with age. And the peptide has a uh, very strong affinity for copper. Mm -hmm. So it means once the peptide's created, it's going to want to bond with copper. And um, we have this peptide in our body. And by the time people reach 60, it's declined by about 60 to 80%. You're 60. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize but, we're the same age. Older, there we I'm, go. I'm going to be 62. Woo! Yeah. But we've been wearing the X39, so... There yeah, you go. That's why we're feeling so great. Yeah, and and it's um, so not surprisingly, uh, levels of GHK are strongly correlated with stem cell activity in the body. 
So Dr. Lauren Picard, who discovered this peptide and worked on it for decades, mm -hmm. uh, what he discovered was that uh, the real power in copper peptide is its ability to regulate gene expression. So we can think of the genes in our body as being switches, and they're either on or off. Right. And they're either methylated or hypermethylated. But it, but, but it goes, the, the genes go through this uh, process where they're either exposed or they're coded, and we either have access to the information or we don't. And as we age, there are certain things that get turned off that we want on, or there's some, certain things that get turned on that we want turned off. And um, uh, one of the things that was exciting in uh, aging research was to find out that resveratrol was gonna uh, turn on one or two genes okay. associated with long life. Those are the sirtuins. Right. So you remember all the hype about resveratrol. Yes. Well, copper peptides, yeah. 4,000 genes. Wow. Not just two, 4,000. Wow. So, is... so that, that gives you an idea of, of power scaling between <laughs> guys, something guys. like yeah. Yes. copper peptide and resveratrol. So, so uh, the benefits then are really massive because we're talking about being able to recapture some of the youth that we lost. Yeah. That means that we see when people elevate their copper peptide that their cognition is going to improve, their recovery after exercise mm -hmm. is going to improve, uh, collagen increases, so people see reduction in lines and wrinkles. Uh, we see uh, short-term, long-term memory improvements, yeah. synthesis of new proteins in the body. The, it, the, the benefits are systemic, and, yeah. um, and, and the benefits are, are quite significant. So um, what's exciting to me about this is that X39 takes us about one-third of the way towards human age reversal. It's, it's an incredibly mm -hmm. important foundational uh, product yeah. and peptide mm -hmm. in getting us to where we want to be, which is not aging at all. Wow, that is incredible. And I love the simplicity. So you put a patch on, right. you know, and it works. I mean, yep. it, that's very, very, took years for you to figure that out. But now that we've got our hands on it, it's amazing. And I'm wearing the patch till Jesus takes me <laughs> home. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing. It's same. It'd be nice to get, you know, lifted up the way Elijah did. And uh, oh, we yeah. don't have to go through the death and resurrection process. So we, we pray for that. Right? That's right. We pray That's for right. that. That's right. That's yeah. right. So we need you to explain. We get this question so much. Are there babies, baby cells in this patch? Or what actually is in that patch? I know it's nano-organic crystals, but we get this over and over. People are just highly concerned, and I kind of flip it around a little bit, but do you really know um, how your cell phone works? Yeah. You just use it. Yeah. Um, do you really know when you drive through fast food, what's actually in the food? Come on, put the patch on. But people are highly concerned, and for me, I, I have a lot of trust. Um, Steve and I, you know, we, we read a lot, we watched a lot of your videos, a lot of your talks, but people, that's the biggest thing. They're so concerned. What is in that little tiny patch? Yeah. I mean, I'd be more concerned about, uh, you know, what's in the food at McDonald's <laughs> that people are eating yeah. than I would yeah. be about the patch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So at first the patch only contains organic materials. Okay. Uh, it's obviously made of polymers so that nothing will enter the body. Mm -hmm. And that's important. It's a, it's a product that stimulates the skin with light. And inside the product are going to be what we call stereoisomers of amino acids and sugars. So a stereoisomer, in the case of an amino acid, uh, it means that these materials can bend light to the left or the right. So when you have an amino acid, it's usually left-handed, but there are right-handed amino acids. Okay. Sugars, uh, like D-ribose, for example, uh, which, which is used in energy production in the cells, that's a right-handed molecule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a little bit technical now, but I discovered a method of processing these materials uh, into something that would give uh, optical polarization of light where we see uh, that the polarization is circular in nature. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you, you take the patch, you put it on the skin, and it creates a optical vortex. And this forms a communication channel between the patch and the human body. Hmm. So we can use this now 
as a communication device to embed information into the body. And in this case, it's it's like it's like a cell phone for the body where we're saying, hey, please elevate copper peptide. Right. Right? right. So that that's, that's how it's working. That's great. So anybody who's following doctor's orders, doctor's instructions, maybe a medicine, it's all completely safe for them to use this X39 patch daily. So and I'm not that, a medical doctor. Right. Exactly, right? And then the exactly. company doesn't give medical advice. Right. Yeah. It's all light therapy. Yeah. So uh, we believe it's safe. And uh, we've done over 80 clinical studies to show that there's no adverse effects. Uh, the only side effect, if you want to call it, is that one in 10,000 people are allergic to the adhesive. Uh, right. Same adhesive as in Band-Aids. So someone has an allergy to uh, Band-Aids, then they could apply the patch to their clothing. Uh, better than that, um, we uh, generally, we don't see any type of side effects right. from the use of the product. And that just right. seems amazing that you can literally put the patch in your clothing and it still activates, it's working. Yeah. Work, so it, if your skin, you have a, a, a issue with your skin when you put the patch on, then you're okay to put on your clothes. Sure. That's just to right. me incredible. Yeah, and that's because, again, it's all light therapy and that's right. actually a good way of yeah demonstrating uh, that there's nothing that's going into the body. Hmm. Yeah. That's incredible. Okay. So we get a lot of this question too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I left the patch on all night long. I said, oh, it's okay. You're just going to grow a third arm. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having a little fun. Yeah. But that's not, it's not going to happen. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so people are really concerned, like 12 hours on, 12 hours off. How did you come up with the 12 hours on, 12 hours off? And what happens, actually, if you do forget to take the patch off and you wore it all night long and you wake up and go, oh my gosh, is it okay to take the patch off and put a new one on in the morning? Yeah. So this is a phenomena in phototherapy uh, or light therapy called attenuation. So it would be like a good analogy would be, let's say somebody likes to go to Starbucks and have a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. right? Well, if they keep drinking coffee every day, uh, have, with caffeine, yeah. eventually they're going to stop responding, right? So like one, the first time you take one cup of coffee, you know, you're, you're, you're flying high on it. And I then, am so genius and, because I tell everyone, don't go get your coffee. Right. Pay, use the patch because that replaces the, co the cost of the coffee. There you go. Boom. There yeah. you go. Uh, so, but eventually people attenuate to or adapt to the caffeine where yeah. they stop responding. They need more and more and more. Yeah. So the same is true in light therapy, meaning that if you left the patch on all the time, eventually the body would stop responding. So um, what we found in our own work is that if people use the patch for 12 hours and then had a break from it, yeah. when they came back to use it the next day, they would still respond. Okay. So we've shown that for many, many years now that that's the case. If you leave the patch on, uh, let's say 24 hours, uh, some people may get a heat rash from that because the patch is sealed and overstimulates the skin. Mm -hmm. So you can trap heat, get a heat rash, no problem. Yeah. Take the patch off, give your body a day of rest, and then go back and use it again, and it's all fine. Now, when it comes to, we always hear that we stay hydrated when you're on the X39. Is there anything else that you can, you know, really escalate the production of the X39, maybe can you put other copper peptides? Is there something to raise your copper peptides a different way or just stay with the X39? Or is there something else nutrition-wise, supplement-wise that we could do to elevate uh, the productivity of the X39? Well, funny you ask uh, <laughs> because you didn't know this, but next weekend I'm doing a training on exactly that subject. Okay. Oh, uh, so we're going to go into detail, That'd but I'll give, you the, I'll give you the short answer. Yeah. And that is, uh, yes, first the foundation is so critically important. Uh, wh so what that means is making healthy choices in our diet, yeah. supplementing where needed, getting proper rest, See, getting exercise, yeah. Yeah. hydrating, right? All, <laughs> <laughs> all, uh, in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah. <laughs> all those things are pretty critical, right? The reason why we need water is because the cells depend on water for energy production and for uh, detoxification, right? For elimination. Yeah. So if we don't have enough water, then we're going to short circuit our body's ability to make energy. So that's why getting enough water is important. Yeah. Now on the nutrient side, um, there's some interesting studies today 
that are showing that uh, supplementing with uh, glycine and NAC extends lifespan by about 24%. Now, personally, I think it's because both of those amino acids are necessary in making glutathione, and glycine is an important part of making copper peptide. Okay. So in this supplement that we have to come out, that we're going to come out with, uh, people don't have to think about it. Uh, meaning it's going to contain every ingredient that people need to support the activity of the patches. So you just take this right. in uh, you take this in the morning, put on whatever patches you're going to put on, like X39, yep. and now you're supplementing your diet with everything that you need to elevate copper peptide. We have had so many amazing testimonies with friends and family on the cardiovascular reversal of wearing the X39 patch. So can you kind of explain, to me, I don't know if I just really need to get more educated or I'm dumb, <laughs> but to me this is mind-blowing how that actually works. The testimonies are yeah, off the chart. They are. Yeah, so we saw in, our, in one of our studies, uh, we did this study with Dr. Thornton Streeter in India, and um, we used a, a variety of different uh, techniques. One was uh, a device called a BioWell, and we saw that when people were wearing the patch for, I think it was eight weeks, there was a six to eight week reversal in cardiovascular age. Wow. So we really have to understand, you know, what, what's going on there and exactly how that's working. Uh, so, you know, we don't want to make any medical claims right. uh, about it. Uh, but some of this has to do with a, a relaxation response. So you get a relaxation response in the nervous system and now you're going to have improved endothelial function. The improvement in endothelial function leads to an increase in nitric oxide that dilates the blood vessels and it improves blood flow. So if I was gonna say, you know, if there's a hypothesis as far as why we see this, uh, that's what I would suspect the mechanism of action to be. Uh, but copper peptide, uh, also will elevate glutathione in the body. And we know that glutathione has a number of benefits for the cardiovascular system. Um, we have X49, and, which elevates AHKCU, and uh, metabolism of alanine, in this case, uh, has uh, definite uh, benefits for the heart because we see uh, AHK and carnosine stored in the heart, the brain, and the muscle tissue. So, so the other thing though, to answer your question, what we saw with uh, uh, GHK copper peptide with X39 is improved heart rate variability. So what this means is you put the patch on, it creates this relaxation response, and now it starts to synchronize the muscle contractions in the heart. So heart rate variability looks at these ratios between high frequency and low frequency, low frequency muscle contractions in the heart, X39 improves that. Wow. So uh, there's certainly, you know, at uh, convention in October, uh, you know, I talked a lot yeah. about what people could do to improve the health of their heart. Yes. And um, the, the exciting thing is that using a combination of things like the patches, proper diet, and supplementation, uh, just on the, I'll make the claim just on the supplementation side, is that bypass surgery should be a thing of the past. We, we know enough today about nutrition to know that if people do these sets of things, uh, that they can avoid heart attacks and strokes. Mm -hmm. And the patches are just part of a healthy lifestyle at that yeah. point. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. incredible. And we do get a lot of testimonies. We do, lots, yeah. lots. Now, being a, a former pro athlete for over 25 years, I had, uh, uh, doctors tell me I've had 14 surgeries, so all oh, the doctors, all the about. all the uh, all the uh, <laughs> physical therapy and everything that goes with all that. They were talking. That's amazing to me, to yeah. me because every time yeah. you got an injury, you're hitting water basically, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah so that's but kind at, of shocking. It's literally a cement wall. Yeah, at 40, yes, at 45 true. miles an hour on the yes. water, yeah. it's, it's, it's like hitting concrete. Wall. That's but true. Yeah. It's still not as hard as hitting frozen ice. Yeah, I've done that too. Oh, uh, have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't uh, know so that. Well, yeah. point is, is that we, we've got, I, we had all these doctors tell me, you know, you need to get stem cell injections. 
And one of the biggest differences I do know between the X39 and those injections, because one of the quotes was $23,000, right. uh, which I never had, but, yeah. but you know, people have had them. Uh, but can you give me like, uh, to, people ha love to have the answer. What's some of the differences? I, I heard that, you know, a joint muscle, you know, a injection works in a joint muscle or, a, or, a, or, or instead of going all over to all your organs. Is that true? Can that, is it, it it's very much more unique having this stem cell X30 or having the X39 uh, on your body to reactivate versus what we're talking about. Yeah, so this is a great question. So at first, um, eventually, uh, science will get to the point where stem cell injections should be less expensive, uh, but also far, far safer than they are today. Okay. And it's inevitable that stem cells are the way of the future. No question about it. Uh, we'll use stem cells in the future for anti-aging. So imagine if you could replace every cell in your body with a 25-year-old cell, uh, you start to age in reverse. So that's why stem cells will eventually get there. Yeah. Um, but we're not quite there yet today with stem cell injections and for good reason. They're not completely safe. So there, there's a few things that we need to know about this. Mm -hmm. uh, in the early days of stem cells, which we're not quite out of yet, when you inject a stem cell into the body, um, we're not entirely sure how it's going to divide. So for example, in Japan, they're looking to use stem cell injections to treat Parkinson's disease. They, this was a very well published study. They injected the stem cells directly into the brain of monkeys. The monkeys died. And when they open up the brain to see what was happening, you see that uh, the stem cells divided into hair, muscle tissue, liver tissue. And um, so un until this problem is solved, stem cells will be relatively risky. Yeah. Um, another issue is on inflammation. So, uh, Many times you'll find that people will have stem cell injections and they don't get any benefit. And they're like, well, I just spent $6,000 right. and I don't, I don't feel any different. And the reason is that when there is a chronic injury, there's also going to be, uh, what, what, let's break this down. What happens is somebody gets an injury and inflammation and inflammatory markers come in. Yeah. The reason why the inflammation is there is to tear down the damaged tissue. But if um, people's antioxidant system isn't working properly, the inflammation hangs around and now the stem cells can't do their job. So the stem cells are attracted to the um, inflammatory cytokines at the injury. And if the antioxidant system can't keep those cytokines under control, then the stem cells die when they get to the injury site. So you can get an injection of stem cells and then the inflammation kills the stem cells and you don't get any benefit, right? Yeah. Now the patch is uh, very, very different. Yeah. Copper peptide acts as an anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people should use the Eon patch if they're trying to deal with chronic inflammation mm -hmm. and an injury, because that will definitely help. Yeah. But uh, people have a, a uh, chronic injury, they use X39, and now it's going to help to bring down that inflammation. So copper peptide will not only get the stem cells to go to where they're needed, but it, it also resets the stem cells to a younger state and you get more of them. Wow. wow. So that's a huge difference yeah. as huge. opposed to injections. That is. And you can do that it every day. Great to know. As opposed to doing an injection, you right. know, once every once in right. a while, you can do it every day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And how many more people would rather just put a patch on as well than go and have be injected? Yeah. Well, you know? yeah. Most people can't afford it. Right. Uh, first, and then it's um, it's a crapshoot, right? Yeah. So yeah. it may or may not work. Yeah. So it's amazing how great and confidence. You know, you get more confidence too in your life when you have these things uh, help get helped in your body. It's incredible. Um, I just got back from uh, you know Tokyo a couple yeah. of weeks ago, yeah. and um, we had a recognition ceremony. We, we had a beautiful recognition cer oh. ceremony in uh, Taiwan and in Tokyo, uh, and we had a woman get up during recognition in Japan, and uh, as she was accepting her award, she just broke down in tears, and um, 
it was because uh, she wouldn't have been alive without the patches. That was wow. her testimony. It's wow. not a claim that we make. Right. So she, it just hit her that you know the only reason that she was there because she had this dramatic change in her life, and uh, and we we see that all the time. Yeah. And, We've seen it in yeah. our friends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, so that's it, just. It's a wonderful way to build a business, yeah. knowing that you're making yeah. such a powerful difference in people's lives. Maybe we could talk on that a little bit. It's kind of out of my notes here, but the uh, you, you get this question and people want to think about this and you can understand why somebody would because they're going to devote their time and effort right. into building a LifeWay business. Tell them a little bit how your philosophy, how you feel, you're the owner of the company, uh, your long-term stick with it, with LifeWay. Like, you know, people would think, oh, he might sell the company, this and that. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stay and focus on his vision and we're going to stay tight and, and make it happen right now and look at all the people that are being blessed. Can you just kind of share your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I think in terms of uh, maybe more of an Eastern philosophy than, uh, you know, than a Western philosophy, yeah. uh, it's, it's very common in the West for people to think that, well, I'm going to start a business and then have an exit strategy in three to five years and then move on to something else. Right. And um, I, I'm just not that way. Uh, this is 20 years for me now for a very, very good reason. And uh, the type of things that I look at is where we're going to be in the next 10 to 20 years. Yeah. So uh, what I actually want to do with the business at this point is uh, diversify it and have a family of companies to continue to expand the opportunity. Right. And uh, so showing the drone tech that we have. Yes. yes. Uh, it's beginning today for humanitarian, right. but the technology in that uh, is going to open up some other opportunities. It's going to open up the possibility that we can have a LifeWave power generation system, a LifeWave yeah. communication system. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, this is going to be life-changing in a whole variety of ways. So yeah. imagine the day that we launch this, right? Yeah. And we have a sister company. And the binary tree in the sister sister company is the same as what we have today. So right. you don't have to build that business. Right. You're you've already built it right. today. Yeah. But now, every one time someone uses their cell phone or accesses the internet and they're on our communication system, you're earning a commission. Wow. Good. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Not no. bad. Yeah. Not bad. So uh, you've already done exciting. the work. You've already done the work, yeah. so you don't you're have just to do dropping it in in a sister company. Yep. Uh, it's it's genius. Yeah. yeah so that so that so that's the vision, right? Yeah. So we're going to keep LifeWave uh, focused on health technology, but as I'm inventing all these other things, we'll have them branded in sister companies. But it's all part of the same family. All the the network is the same. That's the one goal. of the biggest things that I love uh, working with LifeWave is the owner is the inventor. Yes. That really, yes. it, it really, you know, these networking companies, and I'm not trying to pick on any of them, but you know, we've seen them where the, you know, the owner's looking for an opportunity. They want to get into the space and they're looking for a product. They run to a supplement company. What's the hottest supplement? Then they got to pay for the doctor to speak yeah. on it. Maybe it is a good product or not, but I feel the emotion and the energy and the confidence of having the owner being the inventor and really has his heart You've seen, you know, when I communicate with you a bunch, how I know it's like, it's your baby. I want to make yeah, sure right, that exactly. we protect the brand. Yeah. And, and that's, I, I'm really, uh, I, I feel like I'm blessed in a big way. All of you us are, are to be part of, part of this uh, team and, and, and your, your inventions and your vision. I, I will tell you there's a problem uh, with that. It's because I can't turn that inventing gene off. It's like, uh, you know, Christina and I, I'll say, you know, honey, I'm sorry, but uh, this, these ideas, they never stop, you know, yeah, and it's, yeah. it's not likely ever going to stop in my lifetime, however long that but is. But she's so good with that. Yeah. She's, she's fantastic. Amazing. Oh, she's, she's amazing. So supportive. Yeah. How many yeah. patents do you have right now? I, I stopped at 132. I stopped counting. Okay. Uh, I know it's I know it's going over 150. Okay. Uh, but um, I haven't counted them in a while. But it, it's somewhere over 130 anyway. Okay. Wow. And um, yeah, you know, guys, how many friends you got that got one? <laughs> pack, <you know? laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So some of the inventions are just going to be uh, like the light infused brandy. Right. Uh, or um, you guys have uh, now received light infused chocolate. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so some of these things are just for kind of fun to show appreciation to leaders and say thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Some of the other things, uh, you know, I'm creating a special award in our lab for SPDs um, and another one for the elite SPDs. Yeah. And this is going to be an award that part of it, it's made of a material that never existed before that we made in our labs. Wow. Wow. Uh, so it's really something unique and one of a kind. And we're doing that also for our 20th anniversary. But other, other things um, with the inventions are because um, we need to be able to secure our health system. Uh, and what I, what I mean by that is as we release new products, we empower people so they don't have to be scared of the next pandemic, that they've got their health yeah. in their hands. Yeah, um, absolutely. That we produce agricultural systems that people can use so they have an alternative food supply. Because uh, what's happening with our food supply now is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely. And we, yeah. need, we need alternatives. Yeah. We do. And so um, that's really what's driving a lot of this innovation is, have, is being able to provide products that are driven by new technology that can empower people so they can have security. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Wow. All right. So we got a few more questions here. This one's a big one that comes to us, and I, I'm confident you can help me on this is most of the LifeWave brand partners are not medical or in the drug or food industry. So a common question we hear a lot is, the, is the X39 FDA approved? Can you help us answer that question? Is it that important anyway for all of us? Well, thank God it's not. <laughs> Great, uh, because, uh, because if it was, uh, that would limit the distribution and that'd be a real problem. So. FDA does not really approve things uh, the way that people think, right? You right. could say like a class three drug has mm -hmm. to go through some very extreme regulatory approval, but a uh, class two device, which this would fit into if it was, uh, that the correct FDA terminology is it's cleared for market. Um, okay. And this has to do with the FDA not wanting to assume liability. Right. Uh, and then a class one device um, those are things like tongue depressors. Uh, so the FDA just simply says, well, you can self-declare. Uh, they have another category, which we're in, is called general wellness. So the FDA says, well, if you have a product that, product that improves the flow of energy in the body and um, it fits into general lifestyle, uh, then you can self-declare. And so that's where we're at with FDA. There you so go. when we yeah. got... Um, we, we go through FDA review about once every two years. Uh, and uh, so they've certainly uh, looked right. at all of our material and um, they haven't had an issue with it. Right. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's no reason to go for FDA approval, as right. it were. Right. right. Yeah. Okay, I got a two-part question here. <laughs> Um, I'm highly allergic to the adhesive, um, surgical tape, band-aids. If I go get blood, I got to take the tape off fairly quickly. I start to get a rash. No reason why. I don't know why. And, um, so the patch, people are concerned that do have that allergic reaction is question one. And then the second one is if they get a rash, um, is that a detox? And actually, can you really explain the detox? Because sure. I didn't have a detox. Yeah, neither Steve did I. Steve didn't have a detox. So let the old crowd know what <laughs> yeah, is okay. really a detox <laughs> sure. and the adhesive patch. Yeah. Sure. So the first thing is one in 10,000 people are allergic to the adhesive, same as a Band-Aid. Yeah. So, uh, and if someone gets an allergic response, they will definitely know it because it'll be a very severe red rash. Yeah. Uh, so they should, uh, you know, of course, remove the patch, wash it with water, seek medical aid if needed. And if they want to use the patch again, uh, then they can apply it to the clothing, uh, okay. preferably on the inside of the clothing. Okay. So, so uh, you get to wear it still. Yeah. They can get to wear it still. Yeah. And of course, if for some reason they want to return it, they can. Right. Uh, uh, but uh, they should apply the patch on the inside of the clothing. Okay. And that will resolve that. But if you return it... Remember, <laughs> I'm 60, almost 62, but I feel like I'm 25. <laughs> yeah, better to get the advantage of the product, right? right. But whatever, whatever they want to do is okay. Yeah. Yeah. So on the next thing with the detox, um, 
if people leave the patch on for 12 hours and they get an irritation, it's unlikely that it's a heat rash. Uh, usually we see that after 20 hours, that people will leave the patch on too long, the patch is trapping body heat, and it can get a little irritation. Right. Now, let's say people leave it on for 12 hours and there's some redness there. The patch can pull uh, toxins through the skin. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, but it could happen. Um, also, uh, people are detoxing all the time, yeah. right, every day. If you're eating and drinking, yeah. you're right. detoxing. Yeah. It's normal mechanism yeah. in the body. Uh, and it, it's obviously a very, very good thing. If we don't get metabolic toxins out, right. then we're really gonna, we won't live very long. Right. So we want to support uh, the detox uh, of things out of our body. So patches, hydration, glutathione, those are all great ways to do it. Right. So I know in your case studies, you have particular spots behind the neck. I always say case A and case B yeah, <laughs> when yeah. I do the opportunity plan. But you can literally put the patch anywhere on your body or if you have a spot that has discomfort, do you put it in certain spots or like what do you, how do you share it when you tell people where to put the patch? Do you specifically tell them behind the neck, below the belly button or you know, I've got to woke up with a uh, wrenched shoulder, put it on your shoulder. Yeah, uh, so for me personally, I'm very regimented. Uh, so I always put X39 behind the neck and I put X49 below the belly button and then I use a set of energy patches. That's almost always my daily routine, uh, but I'll, I'll get in uh, glutathione and carnosine, you know, during the right. week as well. And then Eon I'm using at night. Um, and that, that works extremely well for me. With the clinical studies, um, what we found is that you can pretty much put the patch anywhere and it's gonna work. So if someone had some knee discomfort, you could put it there. Otherwise, uh, from our blood and urine testing, we know that the patch works virtually anywhere you put it. So mm -hmm. if for some reason someone didn't wanna wear it on the back of the neck, they could put it below the belly button or someplace else. Yeah, and our great yeah. friend, Matt Curtis, Senior Presidential Director, he said, I put it on the back of my neck, and you want to know why? So it doesn't have far to travel. <laughs> right, <laughs> there you go. That, there you go. Yeah, but it, it, it's really fun. Steve and I have um, had miraculous results with the X39. What would you say to someone who says they are not getting immediate results? So they're maybe they're, they're wearing the patch, but they're not feeling. I always make sure before I um, respond to them that I say, are you wearing it faithfully and consistently? Because that's really number one right there. And have you done studies on the X39 that would prove the patch is working even though they're not feeling feeling anything or getting a testimony? Yeah. Well, let's say, uh, I use an example. Uh, you go out in the sun, right? You're down at the beach. You feel good. You're relaxed. And the sun is elevating your vitamin D. You don't know the sun is elevating your vitamin D unless you're blood testing for it, right? So... Um, so the first thing is uh, most people aren't going to feel the change of copper peptide levels, but there are other things that they will feel if they're paying attention. So in our studies, which are in our back office and people can look at, uh, most people the first 24 hours, they'll see that they're sleeping better or they have more energy. Uh, by the end of the first week, people's memory is improving, if people are paying attention. Now, legitimately, there's going to be a small percentage of people where it's going to take three to six weeks before they see anything. Uh, we've definitely had cases where someone had a long-term injury, and then uh, they didn't see a result for about uh, four, six weeks, but then the injury began to heal. Uh, could be a lot of different things. It could be they don't have the best diet. Someone could be a smoker. They could be a heavy drinker. They're not getting proper rest. Could be any of those things. So um, I'd say someone should give the product a try for at least one, two, three months. Uh, make sure they're doing everything else in their life properly and they'll get a benefit from it. It seems like whenever Gene and I start uh, promoting something that's incredible, uh, people are looking around and seeing things and they start thinking, oh, you know what, I'm going to get one up on them and I'm going to copy the same thing they're doing. So all of a sudden in the marketplace, whether it, you know, I think it's a combination of us three and the whole team, you know, in LifeWave, uh, people are watching us yeah. and they're thinking, okay, I've got a patch that's just like LifeWave or I can, you know, promote it the same way they are. 
let everyone know. We really need to hear because the newest person needs to know the kind of quality and what the X39 does. And if, is there anything at all even close to what we have our hands on with the X39? Yeah, nothing. There's nothing on the market like <laughs> it. Um, you know, and, you know we they have, can be loud, these people. So I'm glad that you're saying that. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. He said nothing. There's nothing at all close. There's nothing even similar to the X39. Yeah. Ooh. Well, first, you know, we have global patents on yeah. X39. So, and we're a big enough company uh, that if somebody did try to knock us off, which is not easy to do, there's a reason why it's been proprietary for 20 years. Right. It's not an easy technology to, to knock off. Uh, if they did, um, then we would be able to enforce our patents and then uh, prevent them from selling. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people that have put, um, you could say copycat products on the market for pain relief. Yeah. Um, and those work for either through a different mechanism yes. or they don't work at all. Uh, so it wouldn't be something that I'd, I'd worry about. Yeah. But no one has anything like X39. It wow. just doesn't exist. That's Did amazing. you hear that? Yeah. That's great. Yep. Because our son says, take yeah. that to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So can you give us a little glimpse of what you see, LifeWave, where we're going, what's happening? Because, I mean, we, our team is so on fire and um, just kind of like fill them in what's going to happen in the next year, two years, where we're going, what's happening, the uh, well, vision of LifeWave. A lot's going to happen in the next year. We're going to have a major product launch um, this year and it will be, I think what I would say about it is that it's definitely going to usher in a new generation at LifeWave. X39 will continue to be our flagship product, um, but we're gonna pave the way uh, with an entirely different technology mm -hmm. um, that is going to increase the speed at which people get results with the patches. I think that's probably fair to say. Wow. So uh, people will want, definitely want to be at uh, convention in Dallas for our 20 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's going to, it's going to be huge. Yeah. It's going to be much, much bigger than what, what people suspect. I would say that. Um, and we're, we're actually, uh, almost sold out. We have, uh, 6,000 people, uh, that we can hold and we're trying to figure out how to expand because we're almost sold out at this point, this far, Whoa, this far. And we're just getting started. And we're just getting started. Whoa. Yeah. So, your anniversary is going to be it, wild. It, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. We thought 2023 um, was big. 2024, this year oh, is yeah. your year. Yep. And we're going to put that link up when we get done with this interview with him. We'll put that link up so you guys can go online and get the rest of the tickets. Yeah. Boom, this is it, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's going it, to, it, it'll be yes. amazing. Uh, and uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, we're, of course, uh, we're expanding uh, what we're doing in Mexico. South Korea is uh, open this month, and uh, that's going to be absolutely enormous for us. Yes. Um, we have AI customer service going online. We're working on an AI app to be a virtual assistant. Good. Uh, we're going to be doing in... So they don't have to wait on a hole. Yeah. No, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to do a, um, a global hologram tour in February okay. with this hologram tech. Yeah. So um, Maybe I we see can be a part of it with ours. Yes. Uh, definitely. I'm gonna get mine yes. so, there, there you go. Yes. We'll have the training yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, but myself, uh, Ryan and Meredith will be doing uh, hologram uh, appearances in South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Mexico, and uh, to start that off. It, it's extremely exciting because when uh, leaders use this tech, yeah. Um, they'll be able to attend events all over the world and it look like, it'll look like they're actually right, yeah. there, yeah. right? And they'll be able to see and hear the people that they're communicating with. So this is going to be uh, revolutionary for our industry and LifeWave's the first network marketing company to do it. Hey, as we start to wrap up here, can you just give everyone, because this is I just, it really gets me in my heart what you had to go through to mm. bring this X39 to fruition. And can you give them a little bit in their mindset when they're starting out? Because people sometimes, they've never had their own business. Mm -hmm. they, they've never had to strive for a goal. It took me years before I became a, a world champion. So 
10 years of research, almost four and a half million dollars to bring the X39 to market. What could you portray to these folks in 2024 that they could have a certain kind of mindset that give them the stamina? What drove you that you could encourage them to get that same type of mindset to help them to have success in LifeWave? Yeah, it's such an interesting question because we could probably have an hour yeah, where we yeah. could talk yeah. about that, yeah. right? And uh, so I, I think the first thing is the only way that someone can achieve financial independence is by owning their own business. But most people are going to fail at doing that because the odds are against them. They're not going to have an exclusive product. They're not going to have the experience. They're not going to have enough money. They underestimate how much money and time it's going to take. So this is why such a high percentage of businesses fail. So now let's say you have someone and uh, they, they have a friend come to them and the friend says, well, look, let's go into business together and I'm going to put up 99% of the money that you need. Yeah. And I'll invent the product, I'll patent it, I'll manufacture it, I'll provide the customer service, I'll provide the order fulfillment, oh, oh, oh. I'll set up the website, I'll take care of all the legal work. Yeah. All you have to do is go out and share the product with others right. and this product is going to bless people's lives yeah. by providing healing. Can you do that? Right. And anybody would say, yeah, I'd be out of my mind yeah. not to do that. Right. So this is this is what we offer. Right. So we're like the rich uncle. Right. And yeah. uh, so we're, we're going to put all of those systems in place. And now our brand partners invest an incredibly small amount of money. Yeah. Right. Credit card. You can get started on a credit card. You can get, started on, a you can get yeah. started on a credit card. You, you can't. Yeah. You can't. Right. So. Um, so you invest an incredibly small amount of money and now you're in business and you have this incredible infrastructure nice. and the potential is there to earn more than a million dollars a year. Yeah. So to me, there is no better alternative uh, for, for the majority of people to start a business and have an odds of being successful, yeah. mm -hmm. right? So that, I think that would be the first thing and you know, probably the most important. The second thing that goes with that is that when we look at leaders yeah. that have been successful in our industry, um, there's a common thread about what they teach. And it really does come back into looking at uh, what leaders are doing that have been successful, being patient, being persistent each and every day, You know, just like you're gonna get up and exercise and eat healthy, you're committed to calling people, holding meetings, doing demonstrations, doing the follow-ups, and uh, you know, you're regimented and you're committed to that. And you don't have to be the smartest person, you don't have, the, have to have the most money, but you do have to be committed and have a plan and follow and execute. But, but that is a uh, path to success. And I know the two of you have met many, many people, I know a few of them, that uh, started with nothing and today are financially independent yeah. Yeah. as a result. So we, we really have the best industry. People have to apply themselves, but they can become independent if they want to. And I mean, if the, the key word here was commitment, how hard is that? You got to commit to almost everything you had to do to get to where you're at today. Right. Stay committed right. to this. Yeah. The time right now for people to be open mm -hmm. is much greater than ever before. And the opportunity is just sitting there before you, every one of you. And I just love people say, till they learn the concept of um, MLM, network marketing, they don't really realize, you know, when I worked at Delta Airlines for 25 years, I was in a pyramid. <laughs> Boom, I was right there. I couldn't make, I mean, I would have never been home yeah. ever if, if I wanted to make extra money. I mean, I would have been gone more days. Yeah. So to me, it's just, we can help people so simple we can help them get the money back before the credit card bill comes in yeah. we can help them build an income whatever their drive is whatever their vision their destiny for their family it's just absolutely incredible and we just want to take the time and thank you with everybody online come yeah. on guys give it up for them come on we are so blessed to have him fly all the way here to fort lauderdale to be at, live at our event yeah. it's been absolutely incredible what a pleasure it has been to interview you. You're the easiest one I've ever interviewed. <laughs> I, <laughs> but um, what a blessing. And our, 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 our um, convention name is 
the best year ever. And that is our goal for LifeWave. Of course, they're going to get better and better, yeah. but we had to have some kind of a vision because we want our, we want anybody who gets in, doesn't matter, like you just said, doesn't matter what their education is, what their background is, we can help them win. And This Is It team is so thankful, grateful, and blessed to have you here and be a part of this amazing online virtual convention. And we just appreciate your time you being here, coming in, and just uh, we're 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 all stepping it up. Yeah. So watch out. You might yeah. want to get another production. 2024. <laughs> no one's being left in the dust that's, that's on here absolutely today. Absolutely right. We're gonna make this happen, and we're gonna follow his lead, and all of us just uh, have a dream big enough to stay committed. Absolutely. Thanks, David, yep. so for thanks. sharing Appreciate with everybody. You. Thank, Thank you, Gina. Right? Thank you, Gina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.